I made $10,000 in 15 months by just blabbing my mouth off to companies. Here's how I did it. Hi everybody, my name is Davi and I'm a teacher who's trying to retire at 45. In this video, I wanna show you how I made $10,000 by doing my favorite side hustle. All you need is a laptop, internet, time, and some effort. You deserve to have a life free of financial worries. As someone who's tried multiple side hustles over the eight years, my top side hustle is called paid interviews or paid focus groups. Basically, a company hires researchers to talk to normal people like us. You apply to a study and you're gonna get paid to talk about a company's product, service, website, or more. These studies are easy, convenient, and they can pay you from anywhere from $40 an hour to $130 an hour. I just got one last week to talk for an hour about how I edit my videos. Many big companies like Apple, Lululemon, and Microsoft recruit people on these websites to develop their products and services. In this video, I'll talk about the top three websites I use to consistently get paid, how I apply, how often, and how I get paid. Before I jump into the bulk of this video, I just want to say this is not a get quick rich scheme. This takes some time and also this might not be enough money to completely replace your job. But this is a side hustle that significantly helps me with my groceries and my bills. The first website I want to discuss is User Interviews. User Interview is a platform that looks for people like us to give opinions on a company's product or service in return, we get a gift card. There are so many different research topics ranging from skincare, finance, traveling, and childcare. Here's how you can get started. You're gonna go onto the userinterviews.com. You can use my referral link. Once you log in, you're gonna look at the dashboard and you're gonna see there's gonna be a lot of different research studies available to you. When you click on one, you're gonna put your basic demographics such as your age, where you live, and some of your interests. After you submit a screener, user interviews will send you an email right away saying that you completed it. After this, you wait. You may not get the study at all, but you might be pleasantly surprised and get an email one to two weeks later saying, hey, you got this study. You're gonna have to find a day and a time to choose your interviews. From the beginning of applying to these paid interviews, I'm getting used to rejection. To increase my chances, I apply to about five to 10 studies a day. I view this as a numbers game. So the more you apply to, the more likely you're gonna get a study. The bulk of the studies I get are online. I'm typically talking to a researcher on Zoom, Google Meet, or another website. I've only done a handful of in-person studies. Sometimes they're worth it, but usually it has to drive to LA and it takes about an hour to get there and an hour to get back. So sometimes it's not really worth my time. All right, finally for the compensation. So on user interviews, they only offer gift cards. It can be a Visa gift card, or sometimes you have to choose from a few hundred companies such as Target, Amazon, and Kroger, which is a grocery store. Another commonly asked questions is, do I pay taxes? If you make more than $600, you are supposed to pay taxes on this. User interviews will send you a form and it's your job to take it to your tax accountant or your tax advisor. The second place I consistently get studies from is called Dscout. Dscout is a little bit different because not only do they offer in-person interviews, online interviews, they also offer like asynchronous diary missions. For example, recently I just got paid $100 to review a shower head. They sent me a shower head in the mail. I use it for four weeks and once a week they asked me questions like, how do you like this shower attachment? I talked about the pros and cons through video. Sometimes I have to record myself and sometimes I'm just typing or sometimes it's just multiple choice. One thing I really like about Dscout is when you apply to a mission, they're going to reject you right away. Why am I happy about that? Well, for me, I'd rather just do part of a screener and then get rejected and not waste more of my time versus on user interviews, you have to go through most of the screener and then they'll consider you. But sometimes user interviews also rejects you right away if you don't meet one of their criteria. Scout is also one of my favorite places to do paid interviews is because they pay me through PayPal. So this is actually cash that I can transfer to my bank and pay my bills and purchase anything really. Scout also has these express missions. So if you apply for them and you get it, you're supposed to do it right away within a few hours and they'll pay you anywhere from one to seven days through PayPal. I love sharing my side hustles because a lot of my followers and subscribers have actually gotten different missions on Dscout and are making money for themselves. I usually do short form content on my Instagram and my TikTok videos because I've been so busy, I haven't been able to do a long form video like this. But I'm finally able to thanks to my best friend. She's working full time, but she's trying to break into freelancing. Therefore, she's doing this video script for me so she can add it to her portfolio. Please comment, thanks best friend, to show her some appreciation. She'll love it. Also, if you learned one new thing, please give me a like. And if you learned two new things by the end of the video, follow me. The third place I consistently get studies from is respondent.io. 
This is website based and it's the same thing. There's a list of different studies that you can apply for. There's different screeners. You're going to have to do multiple choice and open ended questions by typing. When you get a study, respondent is going to email and text you. Be fast because there's going to be time slots and they can be filled within minutes. One of my favorite things about applying through respondent is that they also pay through PayPal. Only a very few times have I gotten paid with gift cards. I definitely prefer cash or PayPal because I can spend on more things. If you're interested in signing up for a respondent, dscout, or user interviews, I'll link them below in the description. I highly recommend you spend about 15 to 30 minutes a day applying to some of these studies that are exciting or relatable to you. It can increase your chances of getting selected to various studies. Here's a quick overview. Download the app, sign up, and enter your information. Once you make it to the homepage, you're going to see a variety of different studies. You're going to apply to it by doing multiple choice, also open-ended questions by typing, and a lot of these will require you to record yourself. Yes, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but you'll get used to it. For example, I get a lot of studies for being a teacher, so they'll ask me where I work, what I teach, They'll ask me like, what are some tools I use in the classroom? And finally, I'll have to make a video 30 to 60 seconds about why I use those tools in my classes. And with Dscout, it can be a little bit frustrating because you're gonna get rejected right away if you do not meet a criteria. Unlike user interviews and the third website I'm gonna talk about, Dscout is gonna give you some time to accept and they're not gonna give away your position just because you didn't sign up in two minutes. To get your mission, it's time to work. Each mission is very unique. Sometimes you're going to have to review an app, a website, a product, or a service. These missions don't require you to meet or talk to a researcher. It's mostly asynchronous, meaning you're going to do it by yourself on your own time. But they're going to give you a time frame of a few days or a few weeks to complete these missions. Make sure you're providing quality answers. I'm not quite sure if researchers are rating you behind the scenes, but they very well could be. I hope you enjoyed this video. I spend no more than like three to five hours a week applying for these studies, and I spend no more than three to five hours doing them as well when I get accepted. I find these three platforms to be the most reliable and convenient. After you apply, please don't get discouraged. It took me two weeks to finally get a research study after applying almost every day. It's really a numbers game, and the sooner you make it a habit to consistently apply, the scale will be in your favor. Please don't forget to check out the referral links in the bio, and I hope you learned something. Make sure to follow me, and I'll see you in the next video.